All right, here we go. Treasure hunt is starting up. Let's see how well we do. All right. Remember, in my last video, I was using pretty much my best team, so we're going to compare it and see how well these common cards do compared to, like, the ultimate team. So that should be a little exciting. Yeah, my cards are attacking really slowly here compared to... That tanker Kilua who I had that just shreds everything on the field in a second. And even if they, he doesn't kill him, he stuns him for like 8 seconds. It's ridiculous. Oh, you know what I'm actually going to do? Yeah, let's use this guy. He's better. This this Kilua is really good, actually. Yeah, he's a wizard. He attacks all enemies. And he's pretty strong, too. The only thing I don't like about him is that he attacks a little slow. So here's our first prize. We won... An emitter evolution material. We don't really want that. I'm probably just going to sell it as soon as I take it out of my gift box. Alright, here we go. Map 2. Yeah, I really... Th this is probably going to be a long video. I'll probably split this into two parts. Yeah, because the original Treasure Hunt video was already like 20 minutes long. And I didn't even do commentary. Like, pre-commentary before actually playing. So... We're doing that now, so we're going to probably have to split this up into two parts. Alright, so here we go. The boss here is Mikkei the dog. Or Mike, I, I guess it's Mikkei. That's how they say it in Japan. But spelled it would be M-I-K-E, Mike. I don't know, Mike, is, is that a good dog name, Mike? I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'd probably name my dog like Scrappy or something in honor of Scooby-Doo. Alright, here we go. We got Manipulator Evolution Materials. We don't want that. That's no good. We want What we want are stat boosters and maybe some 6-star Evolution Materials and some pink robots. And Blue Planets, of course, always good. These cards are doing pretty okay so far. Th this isn't that hard of a treasure hunt. This is just Kukuru Mountain. There, there's some really tough treasure hunts, like especially that Meruem one we had earlier where we could win auras on that one that was a really good treasure hunt i actually i spent stones refreshing that just to farm some auras that was a really good one yeah actually i, I didn't mention this i don't think you can use a stone to to nullify the uh the four hour cooldown for treasure hunt so if you want to keep playing and keep farming goods you can use your stones to do that but i, I don't know i don't really recommend doing that at least not for this one anyway the drop rates aren't that good you don't get some crazy prizes here. Alright, here we won chocolate robots. Yeah, they're not the good one, the pink one. And I really don't need chocolate robots right now because I have all those platinum ones that I won from the silver Maryland press. Crest. Crest teeth whitening. Yeah. Those, um, the call gate. I, I prefer call gate over crest. Well, why are we talking about toothpaste, man? What is wrong with me? Alright, anyway, here we go. Freaking Toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, that, that was stupid. I'm sorry, guys. That came out of nowhere. What was I even saying? I, I, I said Quest, and then I said Crest instead of Quest. What was I saying before, though? What was I trying to say? I don't even remember. And it happened like a second ago, so... <laughs> yeah, my, I have issues with short-term memory. I'm not good at remembering stuff. All right, so we won. All right, here we go. We won some stat boosters three times, HP up three. Pretty good. I'll be able to give a character plus nine HP, so that's not bad at all. So let's keep going. I'm going to talk about... Th there's another like little thing you can do in Treasure Hunt that helps you out a bit. It's the You can call your friend cards from your friends list for help. And when you call them in, they'll give you abilities. You, you can't actually call the, the friend's character to the field to help you out, but you get their abilities, so it's pretty useful anyway. Carlos stunned right now. All right, there you go. He's back. Yeah, th th this Kalu, this W Kalu is pretty good. I like him a lot. He, he's he has good speed, but his attack animation is slow. Because it's like the tanker Kilua that I was showing off in the first video where I did this treasure hunt. Alright, here we won parameter boosters again. Uh, 
the Killua that I used in that video, he only ha he's actually pretty slow in terms of stat speed, but when it comes to attack speed, like the animation of his attack, it's actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's the second fastest in the game. Only second to Sniper Merowim and the new Fighter Merowim that we just got that costs 92 Team Foss. Yeah, those cards attack really fast, so even if they have 18 speed, they can attack enemies like twice as fast as a card that has 19 speed and 19 speed is the maximum speed you can get in this game even with support skills so yeah I guess we could talk about stats a little bit when it comes to range range goes up to 9 and once your character has 9 range they don't really get any any more range after that even with support skills so there are a couple of cards out there like wizard Kalito and fighter um fighter franklin that automatically they have nine range maximum if you feed them the range boosters because they have such good range and they have the ability that boosts their range so that's really good uh we want enforcer materials there i, I don't really want that let's keep going yeah th this treasure hunt doesn't really get hard until we get to like stage 15. Th this stuff is really easy so yeah i mean even if you're, you're new to the game you can just come into this treasure hunt and really do well here I'm not even thinking about anything. My characters are just doing all the work right here. Things are gonna pick up though when we gotta start doing work because this treasure hunt has a tricky fight with uh, Fighter Zeno on the 19th map. Yeah, because I, I actually, in the other video, I actually had to like do stuff, switch in Melioron and use the invincibility there because he uses invincibility himself. Right, we'll, we'll cover that when we get there. Alright, here we're fighting Amane. Alright, actually I couldn't kill her in time, so here we go. She just sealed all my guys. Alright, uh, I'm gonna use... No, oh, actually I'm not gonna do that because she's already dead. Alright, so... Yeah, as you can see my characters have map heal. All the ones that I chose, I specifically made sure they all had map heal. Alright, here we want stun HP up to... Not bad. It's okay. Parameter booster. Yeah, so I specifically chose all my characters to have that map heal ability, so every time we clear a map, we're getting our health back, so we don't have to really struggle or anything. You definitely want to use that ability if you're playing Treasure Hunt. Yeah, there's not much else to talk about, guys. We're just cleaning house here. With common cards, no less, so anyone can do this. As long as you've got common cards. Pretty good ones. I, I mean, I chose good ones, but... Yeah, I'll definitely have to do a video talking about which common cards are good and which cross of all cards are good. I, I did a little bit, but... I want to really go in depth with it so you know what to do. And which cards to take. Alright, uh-oh. Uh -oh, he, just, he just hit us with a skill attack. Prolo is... It, oh, it didn't even do anything, man. I was a little worried there for a second. I was like, oh crap, he's gonna die. And he didn't need, he, he barely took any damage from that. Alright. So we won more stat boosters. HP up 3. Not bad. I definitely like winning the stat boosters. Because you can just make your guys a little stronger. It's definitely better than winning the, the material cards for evolution. Aside from the 6 star one of course. That one is really good. But the rest are... Like the, the ones that look like stuff like the rock and the lightning bolt and the fireball I, I don't want those I don't really need them I mean you need them when you evolve your characters but you you win them so often and so easily that you just really don't need them all right here we go who's the boss on this one Sabone I'm actually gonna use my skill here just to Make this go a little easier. This skill here does 15 times damage and a 3 second stun. This skill was pretty good. That did a lot. That almost killed her basically. Over half. Yeah, th this free to play Killua, a lot of people were upset because this Adult Gone and Killua were a free to play card. They were free to win in a Zodiac mission, aka Association Quest. But anyway. I digress, they they were a free to play card and people were expecting them to be really good. Like people wanted them to be top tier cards but they actually didn't turn out to be that way. 
they're still really good at, and actually for free to play cards they're honestly amazing like th these are really good cards you should definitely be using this if you don't have like all the top tier cards of course but this card could even, even in top tier this card could hold its own i would say this is at least a high tier card for sure so here we go yeah people what people wanted they wanted it to be a really good card like like stupid good but it wasn't stupid good it was just good and that's why people got upset but i mean why would you get upset at that it's a free card and it's a really good card too so there's nothing to be upset about and here we're beating up alica uh oh she actually jing has parameter down so we're no parameter down so we're okay there but i can't say the same for Killua and Krolo, they don't have parameter down all right so actually we won that illumi the free-to-play illumi he's he's eh, he's okay i guess i already have him with five abilities so i'm probably just gonna sell that one Yeah, all right, our stats came back. We, we had zero attack from what Alaka just did to us, and our attack came back now, so we're rocking and rolling. Okay, here we go. Yeah, sorry if I have, like, pauses where I don't have anything to say, because I, I really just, I'm, I don't have much to say, actually. This is just treasure hunt. We're just running through it with common cards. Yeah. Alright, who's the boss here? I don't know exactly who the boss is for this one. Uh, Kalito. I like Kalito. She's a cool character. Well, he... Uh, it's a debate. Is, is Kalito a boy or a girl? I, I mean, when she was in... I, I can't even, like, say anything. When Kalito was in the Chimera Ants arc... There was a point where a Chimera Ant looked at her and, or Kalito, and thought he was a girl. But he's actually a male. He, he is definitely referred to as a male. I just want uh, material, whatever. No one cares about that. And Kalito is a boy, but he looks like a girl. And I think he identifies as a girl. Like, Alka, like, you know how Alka is a boy, but she wants Kilua to call him, or... Now I'm getting tongue twisted because it's like, is it a boy or a girl? Do I say he or she? Yeah, Alika wants Kilua to call him Big Sis, right? Like, or Little Sis, uh, Onechan. Yeah, that's a little Japanese there. And, and um, they actually roll with it. So, I don't know. I guess Kalto could be in the same boat. Maybe he's a guy that just prefers to be a girl or identify as a girl. I'm gonna use Kilua's skill here. It does a lot of damage and it stuns for two seconds. Oh, actually, this guy is pretty tough. All right, so we're gonna use Jing's skill as well. And in fact, I'm also I'm worried that he might be able to kill us. So I'm gonna oh uh oh uh oh he got the jump on me there. All right, so I can't do that. Uh, maybe I can paralyze him. Let's use Kolo's skill. I don't know if I can, I'm gonna try. It, it, oh, I actually did paralyze him. Alright, so. Yeah, he's done for. Yeah, Wizard Crollo is pretty good for a common card. He's not as good as some of the other Crollo cards in this game, but he, he's not bad. Alright, some manip manipulator materials there. I don't want that. So yeah, guys, I uploaded the video, the Buhan summoning video. I don't know if you guys are interested in Dokkan. You're probably just here for Hunter Hunter. And that's perfectly fine. There's a lot of people doing Dokkan battle already. I don't know if I can really add anything to that. Yeah, because you got Rhyme Style, you got D Free, you got all these guys. Nanogenics. Yeah, I watch all their videos. They're they're cool guys. I like them. And also we got like Talon and stuff. Yeah, there's so many. Living Ichigo. I, I can't even name all of them. I, I watch a lot of them. Summoning videos are always fun to watch. I might probably do some summoning videos for this game soon. Probably not right now because I don't have a lot of stones. Maybe next week or Thursday when the game updates and I can get some stones. Alright, here comes Lumi. 
I'm gonna use my skill on him. Let's see. Let's stun him rather. All right. He's stunned. Uh oh. He attacked us. 4.5 times damage. Is anyone gonna die? Nope. We didn't even come close to dying. All right. Yeah. I'm not gonna use the skill. He's already dead. Basically. All right. So let's keep going. Keep going. Where are we gonna win there? got all right stat boosters that's always welcome that's what we want I'd rather just have I, I wish there was a treasure hunt where you just want stat boosters and like nothing else because that would be really good because you need a lot it, it takes like each stat booster for HP only gives you like 3 HP and then the maximum amount you could boost it is 300 so you need a hundred of those HP boosters to max out health and then there's also um for stun HP, you need a lot of those as well. You need a hundred of those because each one boosts your stun HP by two, and the maximum stun HP you can raise your character by is 200. So you need a hundred of those and a hundred of the HP ones. So it's really a lot of grinding to try and max out all your characters. I just wish we had a treasure hunt to make that a little easier. All right, I'm gonna stun this Zeno as soon as he comes in. Yeah, this, this W card is really good. If, if you manage to win this, you should be using it. Especially if you're free to play. It's a really good card. Alright, he just attacked us. No, he actually boosted his stats. So I'm going to use Invincibility here. Potopi is an Invincibility card. And I'm going to use Jin too. Why not? He boosts his stats. He For 12 seconds, or I got the limited aura there. It's usually 10 seconds. He gives himself 4.5 times damage and plus 3 range, so he's alright. He's a stat booster. Not bad. He's got no parameter down as well, so he's he's pretty good. For a common card, anyway. And his support skill is also pretty good. He gives 4 times damage, plus 2 spleet. Spleed. <laughs> it's like bleed and speed. I, I don't even know, man. I, I get tongue twisted really easily. Yeah, so speed. He gives plus 2 speed, plus 2 range times four damage and also a couple of um a bit of defense like 280 or something i don't know the exact number yeah i'm i'm pretty crazy at remembering stuff like that i don't know because i used to play a lot of competitive pokemon so you got to remember a lot of stuff to do that like all the base stats and you got to know all the speed tiers and all that it, it, it's a hassle i don't play that game anymore competitive pokemon i i gave up after like gen 5 yeah, because they introduced Mega Evolution and stuff in Gen 6. And that that was really game-breaking. That really changed the game big time. And now they have, like, in Gen 7, they've got, like, Z-Attacks and stuff. I don't, I don't know. They're making it way too complicated. And it doesn't need to be that complicated. Alright, so I'm going to switch back in Prolo as soon as Poltopi's not paralyzed anymore. So let's stun this guy. We're fighting Silva here. Hopefully he gets stunned. Alright, yeah, he's stunned. Alright, like I said, I'm gonna switch back into Crollo. We're gonna use his skill. Hopefully we get the paralysis. I don't know if we will. Yeah, we did actually. Alright, there we go. You can never tell really with these like skills that do um status effects like poison, paralyze, and parameter down. Like, all these moves that your characters can do, you never know if the bosses or the enemies are immune to them. So it's really a guessing game. Just give it a go, see if it works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then I, I guess it's on to plan B. Alright, so we're chugging, we're chugging. Oh, I actually didn't read the um the prize I won in the last map. Sorry, guys. I was talking about Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. So irrelevant to Hunter x Hunter. But I don't know, maybe some of you guys out there play Pokemon. Maybe some of you guys out there play competitive Pokemon, who knows. Alright, so... Th this is where things start getting a little tricky, because, oh wow, he's actually almost dead. Let's use Invincibility. I wonder who we're going to be up against. I think it's Kalto again. Yeah, here we go. This is Kalto. She's a lot harder this time, so we're going to... Or he... He or she. The debate is still out on that one. I'm gonna say it's a he that identifies as a she, like Kalto. 
or I mean like Aluka. Alright, so Jin's gonna use his stat boosting skill here. Hopefully we can just beat her before it's too late. Alright, I'm gonna use kill this skill again. 3 seconds stun, very good. 15 times damage, again, very good. Yeah, man, there all these 6 star W cards are so good. By, like, common standards. This card's pretty much just carrying us. Alright, here we go, some more stat boosters, so we're good to go. HP plus 3. Alright, yeah, we're gonna fight, I believe this map, the boss is, uh, Killua and Aluka. I think, don't quote me on that. Uh-oh. Let's hope he's in trouble. So let's use invincibility here. Actually, I'm gonna walk up here and pick up this health, yeah. You'll notice on the map, as you defeat these enemies, they drop, like, little items that can help you out. They drop... The hearts revive your health a little bit, or recover your health a little bit, and there's like these little blue like crystal things, they recover your skill points, so you can keep using your skill attacks, and also there's one that's, it's like a blue like stick figure guy, and that one raises your friend points, so you can use these friend sums, I haven't used it yet, I'm gonna use it on the final map. Alright, let's just get some invincibility going. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick up this crystal here because it brings back my special my skill points a little bit. Alright, Killua and Alka. I'm gonna stun them. Yeah, stunning is so good. You want stunners. Stun is definitely the best status effect. Uh-oh. He's got a lot of health here. So we're gonna use Jing. Power up a bit. And we're gonna use invincibility again. Alright, 12 second invincibility. Kotobi is really good for a common card. I mean, any invincibility card is really good. Alright, so we're gonna stun him again. Actually, some of these, on this particular treasure hunt, there's a couple of cards that are immune to stun. Like, he, he's immune to stun, actually. Uh-oh, five times damage. Well, we're invincible, so we could be okay here, yeah. Alright, we're gonna use Jing again. Lord Jing. Yeah. Jing just shredded him just now. Wow, that was pretty good. Good job, Jing. Alright. What are we going to win here? Parameter boosters, stat HP, stun HP, sorry. Stun HP plus 2. Not bad. I haven't won a speed pl uh, plus speed or a plus range at all since this treasure hunt dropped. Yeah, the rates on this treasure hunt aren't that great. But in general, it's still really hard to win those particular stat boosters, because those are the best ones. You want speed and range, definitely. Alright, we're beating these guys up. Yeah, you, as you can see, the map heal ability is really what's keeping me in here, because my characters can take a beating, and then as we keep clearing these maps, we just keep getting HP back, so we're never really in too much danger. Alright, here we go. Invincibility. I had to use it there. Kotopi was dying. Okay, we're gonna fight Illumi here, I believe. Hopefully we beat him. Alright, here he comes. That's Sniper Illumi. Um, I can't actually stun this guy, so... What I'm actually going to do, we're going to switch into this Gon here. Who's he attacking, actually? Let's see. He's Alright, so I'm going to use the W skill. This For 32 seconds, we get plus 1,500 defense and invincibility. And it's only to Gon, though. W, Gon, and Killua. But 32 seconds of invincibility? That's unheard of. Oh, crap. He just lost characters. Uh, Alright, so I'm actually going to support this gong here this fighter gong with this healer palm her support skill is specifically for gone cards and it gives them times five damage plus four speed plus four range and 350 defense so that's really really good but it only works on gone cards so there's that and for crollo let's actually let's give him lord palm i guess yeah all right so we'll switch in lord palm we'll use team invincibility there just in case, because Adult Gone already has the invincibility from his W skill, but the other two don't, so 
Let's try to keep them alive there. Oh wow, this is this guy has a lot of health when you're using common cards. All right, yeah, so we're, we're good with the invincibility. We he he can't really hurt us when we have Palm here. And this adult gone, his regular skill gives him ten times damage and plus three range, so he's a beast. He really is. Yeah, I mean, people were upset about this card. I, I, I keep saying that, but there, there's no reason to be upset because he's such an amazing card for a free-to-play card. Alright, stun HP up two. More stat boosters. Very good. So we're nearing the end here. This is the, the tricky map that I was talking about where we fight Zeno because he uses invincibility on himself. I probably should have brought a card that removes invincibility, but I didn't. Alright, Palm is getting beat up, so we're going to use this fighter gone. He gives an ally invincibility and then plus 4 speed, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely plus 4 speed. Look how fast he's attacking now. Yeah, that's, that's actually really good. That's a good card there, fighter gone. Even though he's a common, he's really good. Alright, team invincibility. Yeah, let's just keep the train in motion. Just keep ourselves invincible and just blow through this. We're gonna have to, especially against Zeno, because I can't stun him with Kahlua. He's immune to stun. This is one of the few treasure hunts, actually, where the enemies are immune to stun. They Usually, you can stun all of them. Even the tougher ones, like that tough Meruem treasure hunt, you could actually stun him, and that was one of the easiest ways to beat him, actually, because if you try to fight him regularly, he's just gonna beat you into the ground. He's ridiculous. You gotta stun lock him, really. Alright, here comes Zeno. He's pretty tough, like I said. And there he goes. 15 seconds, he takes no damage. I'm actually gonna use... W Gon's regular skill here for times 10 damage. And we're gonna have him attack Zeno. Palm lost her invincibility, so we'll give her some invincibility from this fighter going here. Oh crap, he's using a skill now. Three times damage. This could be bad. Oh boy, that was really bad. We just lost everybody. Aside from Palm. Oh man, what are we gonna do now? Yeah, like I said, this is going to be a tricky fight. I mean, we need an attacker. We're going to have to take this fighter Meryl in here. And I'm going to support him with Lord Zeno. Lord Zeno's a really good support for a common card. He does 5 times damage, plus 3 speed, and plus 200 defense to anybody. And let's just... I guess we'll just focus on invincibility from this point on. So let's take... Uh, let's take... Actually, yeah, let's take Benolan off just to have a second stat booster. And to support him, we're gonna take... Alright, this is Fighter, the Cross of All Fighter Zeno. He does 5 times damage, plus 3 speed, plus 1 range, and plus 280 defense. But the thing is, the plus 1 range and the 280 defense only comes if your character that he's supporting is a Transmuter Nen type. And Benolanov, he's... He's the neutral men type, so he's not going to get the range or the defense, but he's going to get the attack and the speed, so that's still okay. And for this, we're going to actually use um, Sniper Prolo, who gives 4 times damage, plus 2 speed, plus 2 range, and plus 220 defense to this palm here. So that's not bad. And here we go. This this is a really good common card. This People don't talk about him enough. He's, he deserves to be talked about. So we're going to use Invincibility there. Just watch, this Bonolanov is going to shred this Zeno. Oh, I forgot his range isn't that great, but aside from that, he's a monster. I actually like this guy in the manga. The the mummy guy, yeah, he's pretty cool. I, I don't know, people don't like him. I think he's pretty cool. Oh, crap, he just lost more people. Oh, boy, this is bad. Uh, uh-oh. Alright, let's use Tanker Palm there. We're probably not going to be able to beat this all the way. But that's okay, we gave it a good shot. Considering we used common cards only. And for Meruem, let's... I don't think any of these guys can actually support him. We'll take 
goal rain, I guess. I'm actually gonna use my friend's supports now because it doesn't look like we might be able to... It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to beat this Zeno. Alright, so when you use this friend ability thing, you call in some friends from your friend list and all these abilities that you see on the screen here are gonna go to my characters. So now I'm really powering up my guys. Actually, one time should be enough. We should be good to go after that. I was gonna do it more, but... I think we might be strong enough after that to beat this guy up. Yeah, and we still have invincibility. Yeah, he's gonna go down there. Alright, yeah, so actually we might be able to beat it. I don't know, the Z the um the final boss is Silva. I don't know how tough he's gonna be, but we're gonna find out. Alright, so we won stun HP up two, two of them. Not bad. You always want parameter boosters, as I said many times previously. Alright, here we go. This is the final map. I kind of like this volcano-like area. This is pretty cool. Alright, let's get the invincibility going. Yeah, Lord Pawn is really good. She gives 13 second invincibility and plus 4 range to all your characters, so... You definitely want to use her. I, as I said, I was using her actually a lot because she was my only invincibility card for a while until I managed to pull some better stuff. I'm gonna try to kill Silva as fast as possible. Cause I, I don't know, we're running out of characters. I used most of my reserve characters already. All right, invincibility again. Yeah, just, just keep looping your invincibility and nothing can really touch you. Unless you're fighting guys that remove invincibility, but they don't usually have them in in here that well actually they do they have a lot in treasure hunt but it's usually in silver quests that you'll see people removing invincibility other than that you're pretty much good to go if you just have invincibility are we getting stunned i think we're actually getting stunned here these guys are stunning us all right we'll pop banolin off we'll pop merwin this is a really good card this fighter merwin here I'll talk about them a little more in depth in the, the video where I covered the common cards and the cross evolved common cards. Alright, here we go. This is the final map. We're gonna fight Silva here. And I'm just gonna pop as many of these friend friend helps as I can. The friend support. Alright, so we got a sniper marum. We only got one friend there. It 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 um what am I trying to say? It it varies between how many friends you call on so every time you do this you have a chance to get one friend two friends or three friends to help you out so here I only got one friend and the time I used it previously I got three friends so you never know how many friends you're gonna call in and here we got the full three. Oh, these are pretty good yeah we're gonna be good to go now so here's Benolinov using his skill and now it's going with Fighter Merom as well Hopefully we should be able to kill Silva quickly. I don't know exactly how much health he has. Okay, we're gonna loop the skill with Benolinov here. He's a boxing mummy, man. He's, he's really cool. I don't know why people don't like him. A mummy with boxing gloves. That's awesome. Yeah, and then he, he's like some African tribesman when he takes off the bandages. He's really cool. Togashi is just good at coming up with characters. Alright, here we go. Fighter Marum again. So we should be okay here. Yeah, oh man, we're really beating him up. Alright, we already killed him. So yeah, I'm just gonna use invincibility there, even though we already basically won the map. So yeah, that is... There we have it. Mission complete. So we just cleared Treasure Hunt with all common cards and free-to-play cards as best as I could. They do have six abilities, yeah, but... Oh, we won the revive. Yeah, we won the revive. Um, That is the common sense that revives all your cards. So that's good. I'll be able to use that for a tough mission. So yeah, guys, overall, not bad. If you're new to the game, you definitely want to farm Treasure Hunt. It's really fun. As you can see here, it's locked. I have to wait four hours until I can play it again. But yeah, it's a great way to farm stuff. 
all, all the all the stuff you win they go straight to your gift box here so as you can see all the, like all these stat boosters that I won and some of these materials I'm not really gonna do that right now I'm not gonna pick up the prizes I won yet but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I helped you out a little bit and this is Tacho signing out guys have a good day